Mike Rhodes brings in eight newcomers to Penn State this season, with four being freshmen and four being transfers. It's the 49th best overall class, with the 22nd best freshman class and the 46th best transfer class, highlighted by the second highest ranked freshman since 2000 for Penn State, who we'll talk about at the end. Yannick Niederhauser is a 6'11 junior center from Northern Illinois. He averaged 7.3 points, 4.4 rebounds, and 2.1 blocks per game, and I think the defense is where he has the most upside. He can be a very legitimate rim protector. He had one of the highest block percentages in the entire country last season. Defensively, he's somewhat versatile, even for a big. He can be in drop coverage against pick and roll or even a hedge. He's a very legitimate rim protector. He isn't super quick laterally, so you aren't gonna like ne necessarily switch him onto the perimeter, but he can hold up when needed. He does have to limit the fouls though if he wants to start playing bigger minutes. Offensively, I think he's fine. He doesn't have this great touch around the rim, which obviously is a big thing, whereas because that's where most of his shots come from. He showed some of the ability to kind of space and put the ball on the ground. Need to see it more and, and just kind of see him try to develop on the offensive end, but he is a big body that moves fairly well. All right, so on this play, we're going to take a look at some of the defensive upside that he has. So he's going to be right here, the big man. They're going to flow into a high pick and roll right here, and you're going to see him, right? He's in this hedge. This is something that I think he can do. He also is good in drop coverage where he just is here and drops back, but this time it's a hedge. And what that does do is usually it puts pressure on the roller because then somebody has to kind of help um, defensively and tag the roll until he gets back. But what he does here, he just does a good job of, of getting the hedge, forcing the ball handler out just enough so that way he can kind of work his way back. And now it wasn't maybe the best roll as well, but now he's worked himself back into a legit rim protecting position, goes up and then gets the block. If you are enjoying, please like and subscribe. Hudson Ward is a six foot seven freshman from Western Canada prep. He averaged 26.2 points, 9.6 rebounds and 5.2 assists per game. Overall, he's just a very, very good athlete. I think he can play above the rim. You can see him multiple times finishing dunks, finishing tougher layups. And that's where I think a lot of this kind of slashing ability comes from. There is definitely an upside as a shooter. I'd like to see the form become a little bit more compact, but you see that he can knock down shots. There's also a lot of upside for kind of self-creation into these jumpers, although he does have a little bit of a looser handle, but being six foot seven, still being able to handle the ball, that kind of allows him to get shots. Now he can play above the rim. I don't think he has the best touch at the moment around the rim though, um, but he does have on the defensive end, he has very good hands. And I think he's going to fit in well with Penn State that way in terms of just being able to get his hands on loose balls, get deflections. He has tools to be a good defender. And I think just overall, he has all the tools to become a very, very good player. To me, I just kind of want to see him get time to be able to develop and really turn into that player. So on this clip right here, I'm going to showcase some of the off-ball ability, slashing ability that I think Hudson Ward has. So it's going to be kind of in transition. And you're going to see he's going to be right here on this wing. And so he's going to kind of float to the corner. And so this is then just going to be good recognition of, hey, the defender has their head turned. Nobody's picking me up. And you can see there's this huge space here for him to cut as the ball handler is going to get down. He's calling for the lob. The lob doesn't actually happen, but drop off pass. And then he's six foot of seven and just very athletic, can quickly rise up and get the dunk. Eli Rice is a six foot eight sophomore wing transferring from Nebraska. He averaged 4.2 points and 1.6 rebounds in 10 minutes a game. He's a bigger wing that does have some guard skills. I think driving is by far his best quality. He can kind of get downhill either hand, has pretty good finishing abilities around the rim. He's six foot eight, but he moves really, really well, which kind of allows him to then get into some driving, some pick and roll even. Um, and he also gets to the line a lot because of that. He puts pressure on the defense by attacking closeouts, by getting downhill, and just forcing the defense to either have to try to follow him or contest. Now, he shot the ball well last year um, on somewhat decent volume given his, his minutes per game, but he does have a pretty slow release. He has to be pretty set for him to actually get the shot off. Defensively, there's like a ton of upside. He's six foot eight. He moves really, really well. But I think last year, part of the reason why he just uh, didn't get a ton of playing time was because he stood up a lot defensively and he also got lost. So I think being able to buy maybe into Mike Rhodes' system of, of being able to get in there defensively, he feels like the guy that has the tools that Mike Rhodes loves. So this play right here is going to show off some of that driving capability that I've talked about. He's going to have the ball up here at the top of the key. And so he got the big switch onto him already. There's three seconds left in the shot clock, so he needs to just create something fast. And so this is where he's just like, he just has the ability at his size. He has a good enough handle that he can get downhill. And so now you're gonna see he doesn't, you know, he isn't crazy, crazy explosive with the first step or anything, but he gets into the defender there. 
does a good job of just creating enough separation so that way it's still a tough finish there but he's able to get an angle able to get a look and there's just a lot of upside for those types of plays for him dominic stewart is a six foot five combo guard that played for rolling loud in ote last season he averaged 13.7 points 2.1 assists and 3.9 rebounds per game he is a very very good shooter i don't know exactly where he ranks in terms of the recruiting class uh, for three-point shooting but he's got to be somewhere up near the top He's comfortable from the mid-range, but he's also very comfortable from three, where he shot 43.2% on pretty good volume. Now, the thing that stands out to me is he just is one of those guys that's always on balance. Whether it be getting to a pull-up, running off a pin-down, or whatever, he's going to get his feet set, and then he, from there, he's going to get his uh, shot set. Now, he isn't a point guard to me at all, but he does make pretty quick decisions with the ball, which is good as just kind of being able to keep defenses moving, keep uh, the advantage going. He's good in the mid-range with jumpers, and he has good touch with floaters. There's also just kind of a solid rebounder for his size. Now, I think the defense is to be determined. I liked it in high school some, but I do have some concerns about it translating to the next level. So in this one, we're going to show off that shooting ability that Dominic Stewart has. He's going to be right here coming up in transition and so he's just going to catch the ball he notices he has the space to work notices okay i can just get my shot up and there isn't some, anything crazy to it um dribbles up does a good job just kind of being like okay i'm going to create the space i need probably takes an extra dribble in there honestly right there but he gets set once again into his shot good base good form and then he's just going to be able to drill it into the dude's face Kachi Enze is a six foot eight sophomore center transferring from Xavier. He averaged 2.5 points and 2.5 rebounds in 10 minutes per game last season. For him, he just wasn't used a ton as a freshman. He was very, very athletic, and that's just where he provides a ton of his upside. He has upside as a rim protector, even as kind of a six foot eight undersized center because of that athleticism. Now, in terms of things he was able to show a little bit, he seemed very comfortable on the roll. Um, he's not somebody that's going to shoot at all outside of the paints. Basically, every shot came around the rim for him, but he can get downhill on the roll. He can catch, take a dribble if he needs to. To me, he kind of feels somewhat like a tweener in terms of size. Like size-wise, he's probably a four, but skill-wise, you want him closer to playing the five. So. I think more than anything, he just needs time to develop. And, and Mike Rhodes is going to bring in guys that are going to be able to do that. So in this clip, we're going to show off the dunking and rolling capabilities. He's going to be right here at the top. He was using this kind of delay action a lot where he catch it at the top, coming up the floor, or just kind of in the flow of the offense, flip it to the other side, and go set a screen. So that's what's going to happen here. Sets the screen right there, and now he's just going to roll. You can see him pointing up. He probably, I don't know if he wants the lob or if he just wants the pass, but... The lob does happen, and then he's just able to go up and get it. Javin Carter is a six foot two shooting guard that played at Alcoa, Tennessee last season. He averaged 27.2 points, 5.5 assists, and 4.9 rebounds during his senior season of high school. Now he has all of the tools. It's just kind of whether they show up consistently and whether they translate day one to Penn State. He can get downhill a ton and he loves to use kind of crossovers and his shiftiness to be able to set up defenders and get space that he needs. He's very comfortable with the ball in his hands. Now the thing that I think stands out to me is he's very willing to kick out on drives. Some of the times you get guys that kind of get tunnel vision as they drive, but he is very willing to kick out, hit the right guy. I buy the jumper. I, I, he knocked down pull-ups and catch and shoot shots at a consistent rate. Now the defense was good when he was bought in, which wasn't too often, but again, that's something that happens for a lot of high schoolers. I'm a little bit concerned with the athleticism, but he feels like a guy that if he kind of just puts it all together in college, he'll end up being one of the more underrated guys from his class. And I do really like the fit at Penn State. On this play right here, we'll show off some of that driving capability that Javin Carter has. So he's gonna bring the ball up right here. He, right, he's bringing the ball up. He doesn't really get a screen right there. Um, and we'll rewind a sec, but he's just gonna be able to set up his defender. So you're gonna see him right here. He's gonna cross over left, cross over back right. And now because of that, he leaves the defender kind of behind him. The way that the offense was set up, there's really nobody protecting the rim at all. So now he's gonna be able to just get downhill and then finish at the rim. 
Freddie Dillion is a six foot five redshirt sophomore transferring from Tennessee. He averaged 1.7 points, 0.6 rebounds, and 0.8 assists per game last season. He's another guy. He just really didn't get much work last season, much run at all. Now, he is, in terms of what he's able to do, he's very good at being able to get downhill, and that's where he wants to be. That's where he's most comfortable. Now, in terms of getting downhill, I think the pacing needs to be a bit better, and he does also have to limit the turnovers, as that was a really big issue when he had the ball in his hands. I do kind of like the idea of him being more off ball, which obviously would happen if he's sharing the floor with Ace Baldwin, being able to catch against uh, bent defenses and then being able to create downhill off of that. I think opportunities like that, being able to use that to get to the rim, get to floaters would be beneficial. The shooting's a question mark. And I've liked some of the off-ball defense. The on-ball defense, I'll need to see more. He's a guy, though, that just, he needs to be able to develop. He needs to be able to showcase what he's able to do more than anything. So on this play, we'll show off some of the driving, but then the kicking kickouts that he has with it, which, because he is a pretty good passer as well. So he's going to have the ball up top right here. You're going to see him call for the screen, but it never really happens. And now it's just going to be one-on-one. -on -one. So he gets to in and out, gets downhill, and gets pretty much essentially two feet in the paint right in here and this is a good job right he gets downhill and even if he doesn't create a ton of separation from his defender he's now look all eyes are on him you can see all the defenders right there and that's going to leave opportunities for his teammates and so there he's going to draw drive into this big right here as his teammates kind of flaring back out to the corner or the short corner and get them a good look and lastly, Miles Goodman is a 6'10 center that also played for Rolling Loud OTE. He averaged 10.5 points, 7.8 rebounds, and 1.6 blocks per game. He is Penn State's second highest rated recruit per 247 sports since 2000. Goodman is very, very athletic and he moves well. There just seems to be a ton of upside defensively for me. He can be a guy that can kind of help protect at the rim. He probably needs to work on the physicality a little bit, but that'll come with time. And there's also, I think, upside to guard on the perimeter. I don't know if you necessarily want to switch one through five right away, but if it needs to happen or there's just a matchup that you need to go to, I think Goodman has that uh, capability of being able to do that. Offensively, he is more of a finesse game uh, style. He likes to face up in the post especially. I don't buy the jumper, although it's something he went to a lot. He has a pretty slow release. If that improves, that would be pretty big for him. He moves pretty well, has pretty good hands, so I think he could just become a very, very good roller, and he can also play above the rim as well. So on this play, I want to kind of highlight the upside that he has defending the perimeter, even as a six foot ten big. Obviously, I think he's a very good rim protector as well, and there's a ton of upside on that side as well. And so on this play right here, you're going to see him. He's one-on-one -on -one against a smaller guard here, and we'll just kind of let it play. But he does a good job of staying in front. And so now this, this point guard really has nowhere to go, forced to kind of throw a kick out, and it's not a great pass at that. And so it's just, I think there's really good um, movement within him to be able to move laterally, understand his size, his spacing, and just be able to contest like that. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and then click here to see the Michigan State Newcomers Preview.